Hey, what's up guys? Jake here with Success Motors. I have another walk around video for you guys today. If you are a Success Motors follower, take a big sigh of relief. I've got an excursion again. The reason I say that is typically we sell Ford Excursion diesels, or at least that's been the case the past, I don't know, two years or so. Recently, we've started selling a few more vehicles, so the past few of these videos have been of vehicles other than excursions. But today, all of you Success Motors faithful, I appreciate every one of you. We've got an awesome Ford Excursion today. Uh, if it is your first time with us, welcome. My name is Jake. I'm the owner-operator of Success Motors. We're a specialty dealership down here in College Station, Texas. Uh, like I said before, we primarily sell Ford Excursions, or at least we have up to this point. However, we're starting to branch out and sell more lifted trucks, diesel trucks, high-end cars, things like that. But that doesn't mean we're slowing down the excursions. It just means we're adding some more vehicles. So it's a blessing. But anyway, you can expect over the next 15 to 20 minutes, I'm going to walk around every inch of this Ford excursion so that if you happen to be out of state, and you'd like to buy this thing you absolutely can do so i always recommend come down to college station we'll pick you up at the airport come test drive it come see it for yourself but if that's not in your cards because your schedule's too busy or whatever my goal is that this video would be more than sufficient for you to know everything about this excursion so you can buy it confidently we can handle everything electronically and we'll have it delivered to you by the way we've done that no less than 50 times at this point so uh, we've got it pretty well streamlined but again if you want to come here feel more than welcome to do so but anyway let me get out of the way guys this is a beautiful and i'm sorry for any wind noise today i'm getting used to this gopro hero 12 hopefully the wind noise isn't on here but it is kind of breezy today but anyway guys this is a beautiful 2004 ford excursion six liter power stroke diesel four-wheel drive this one is an xlt it is bone stock motor wise never tuned doesn't have head studs never deleted anything like that the motor has never been touched guys and it has ninety-seven thousand five hundred miles on it that's right this is a ninety-seven thousand mile ford excursion now it is not bone stock entirely as you can see it does have have these uh late model super duty wheels these are 20 inch wheels uh, it does have a brand new set of mt tires these are uh literally brand new you can see the nipples on them we just replaced these like 15 miles ago also you can see that it has the ranchero shocks in there guys and this one is rocking a true four link suspension lift now it's not a huge lift maybe like four inches but it is a true four link lift so it is done right this is not just lifted with spacers or whatever uh, it has a great lift kit so it rides really good again brand new set of the mt tires and then you can also see rough country dual steering stabilizer uh, anyway three owners all texas owners this truck has never spent any time outside of texas uh, no accident history no damage history none of like uh, none of that and it was also stored in a garage so this is the original paint my detailer said this has been the nicest paint on an excursion that hasn't been repainted that he's ever seen or dealt with with us um, no oxidation none of that because it was kept uh, inside as you can see no dents so far we do have a few light scratches in the paint right here i don't believe that's just in the clear coat i think that's down to metal might be in the clear coat we didn't do any type of paint correction or polish on this rig so very possible that those few scratches could come out um by the way those are about the only scratches on this rig very nice again like i said runs and drives straight again bone stock six liter power stroke diesel little door ding right there guys this is showing zero signs or symptoms of having any type of head issue we've gone through and done some of the basic tests uh, that you can do and the heads appear to be in great shape everything appears to be just mechanically sound uh, with this rig now we have gone through it we've looked at everything and we believe everything to work and uh, we've also had it stayed inspected so all the lights and the tail lights and everything work Again, it's got brand new tires all around. By the way, these are size 35, 12 and a half R20s. Again, brand new tires. Little dent right here. There's a little bitty dent. You can see in comparison size of my finger. Again, beautiful truck, XLT. If you have any questions at all, please 
give me a call 979-202-1948 check this out back here so again this has not been repainted this is literally factory fresh this is so clean this hasn't been repainted and you can even see right here this is another tattletale the windshield wiper arm on the back has very little to no oxidation or or bake on it so this thing did not spend a lot of time outside uncovered you can see it does have the of course trailer hitch and then it does have a what is that rpe rear differential cover and it has those ranchero shocks as well beautiful paint is just can't overstate it paint is beautiful very few scratches or scrapes or anything the exterior of this guy is very clean very nice zero rust i'll show you up under the rocker here in just a second show you the roof we will test drive it by the way so hang tight around the end of the video i will drive this thing a couple of this little like previous just like a door hit it there it's not a dent but just put a little scratch in the cladding a couple of little rock chips but man very very few very very nice and clean ford excursion again we did not do any type of polish on this thing so this is just as she is it's it's beautiful 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 show you up under here again ranchero shocks there's that lift and then i'll poke you up let's we'll see how this turns out show you up underneath here look at that no rust in the rockers clean texas truck you couldn't ask for better than this guys i mean just very very nice truck underneath and on top paint look on the hood paint is beautiful and then the bumper we might have polished the chrome of the bumper because that bumper looks fire but yeah absolutely beautiful guys windshield uh is not cracked doesn't have any cracks or anything like that and again it is the xlt let me show you up on the roof paint is just superb superb this is a really nice excursion guys again it is the xlt you still get you know your power mirrors and your your uh power windows and locks it's still power seats seats work Seats are in great condition, by the way. No rips or tears. No stains. WeatherTech floor mats throughout. Look at this steering wheel. Steering wheel hasn't been refinished or recovered, and it's just in beautiful condition. Uh, very nice. Uh, you can see we do have this aftermarket, um, I don't know, probably a 10 inch screen. Not sure what brand that is, but it has Apple CarPlay and those features on it. You can see as well, Somebody has updated that to a USB, and then there's a place to plug in your phone there, and then also a trailer brake controller. And again, a reminder, this one is a four-wheel drive. Uh, check it out up here, headliner's clean. None of those compartments there are broken. Just immaculate, guys. This is a very immaculate and clean excursion. XLT is nice. Oh, by the way, I was starting to say, uh, all of our vehicles get steam cleaned, get the carpet shampooed, all of that. So while this is a very clean truck and started as a clean truck, you can be assured, uh, rest assured that it is sanitary. Uh, we do a very thorough, detailed job on all these excursions and cars that come in uh, trying to sell just clean, used vehicles. Of course, it does have the uh, rear, rear AC. AC of course works. Let me open you up back here. My backpack is back here, so forgive that. But so the only negative on the vehicle that I'm aware of is it's got the typical Ford excursion. Woo! It worked. Well, never mind. So that little, this little panel is off. I'm about to put that back on. Shoot. I fixed it all right well i mean i was about to tell you guys this doesn't work but apparently it does work that's awesome so i'll put this panel back on and this does work i guess it got fixed uh spare tire back there of course that's not a 35 so that spare is not going to do you much good you can see the plastics everything back here 
looks really clean and really good again i'll put that door panel back on it just goes on with some grommets i guess a member of my team fixed that i didn't know it so praise the lord passenger side uh, we do have window tinting on all the windows by the way so that's already been done this is a buy today and drive today this is a nice rig you get 97,000 miles seats are all clean no rips no tears no major stains and i believe everything to be operational locks and windows power seat on the passenger side very clean there's another angle on that head unit there Appears that these door speakers have all been replaced too. Those don't look like factory speakers. All right, let me show you under the hood and then we'll start this puppy up and we'll take it for a test drive. Again, check out our website, info at successmotors.net uh, or uh, definitely stay tuned to our Instagram as that's where we post vehicles as incoming. This one got posted as incoming a while back. Um, so there's already some people interested. We've got the yellow cap, optimum batteries, they were replaced two of 24 very clean engine bay again stock truck team stock truck both batteries are new and two of 24 you can see around the degrasse ta uh, tank no leaking or anything like that all right let me start it up we do have two keys and two key fobs there's a good look at the hood too you can see that hood is in perfect condition all right, check it out. Not a cold start. As I started it earlier to drive over here, but it started up just like that. Hopefully you can see in there, 97,583 miles. No lights on. The brand looks like it's called Numpkin by Android. Not sure. But AC is blowing. Hopefully you can hear that. Rear AC blowing as well. It's cold. AC is cold. Windows. All work. Locks work. Hopefully you just saw the mirror moving over there. Wind mirror works. Mirror works. Radio works. Um, speakers work. Everything is in operational condition. All right, let me get out so you can hear it. Right, guys let's take this thing for a test drive just getting a further away view of it be sure to check out the video description below there might be some things i forgot to mention about this truck down there below uh in the video so they're going to be in the description but all right let's check this uh, let's take this thing for a test drive goes right into gear not much free play in the shift lever I mean, just perfect. It, it feels exactly like you would expect and like it should feel. All right, here we go. You can see what that looks like. I haven't played with that too much to know exactly how to use it, but you can do some research on your own. This one does have power adjustable pedals, by the way. Oh, and that little hole right there, it used to have a uh, push button start, but the previous owner removed it. Apparently it was more of a hassle than it was worth. All right guys, again, very nice excursion. Can't stress that enough. Definitely hard to find a power stroke diesel under 100,000 miles, four wheel drive. 
Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rig. Some people are gonna complain that it's not been studded and bulletproofed. Man, in my opinion, I wouldn't stud and bulletproof this one. I would just drive it like it is, and if you ever have a problem, fix it at that point. Because the cost is debatably about, you know, is arguably about the same. Whether you fix it or whether you do the studs and stuff right now, or whether you wait for it to have a problem. Uh, and it might not ever have a problem. We've sold excursions with uh, six liter power stroke diesels that have been stocked with 300,000 miles on them. I never had an issue or one. So it's, in my opinion, these uh, six liters get a, a worse rip than they deserve. Um, and you get one like this that's unmolested, never been used as a workhorse, never been used as a tow truck, never been tuned. Man, you can't go wrong with that. The shifts are buttery smooth. They're basically seamless. Just the slightest amount of road noise from the MT tires, but very manageable and tolerable. Definitely worth the appearance of those tires. Uh, by the way, the previous owner, the guy that I bought it from, this was from an individual, his wife was using it as a daily driver and as a grocery getter, um, was what they were using it for. So, and then my understanding is the guy that bought it from, or he bought it from, um, was also kind of using it for the same thing and this truck actually was relatively local to me i believe its entire life but anyway if you want to fly down and check this thing out if you're out of state feel free to come do it if you want to handle everything electronically we can do that as well i definitely stand behind this excursion it's a very nice excursion um, i don't believe we found but what maybe two dents two little door dings maybe a couple little scratches and that was about it, right? And then everything uh, everything else seems to be perfect. Uh, windows work, locks work. It's got the four link lift. It's got new tires. It's been state inspected here in Texas. It's rust free, 97,000 miles. Man, there's not much else you could ask for other than maybe leather seats, but uh, I don't know. If it was my excursion, I think the leather seats look better, but they're not more comfortable. Those leather seats, especially down here in Texas, get hot because they don't have you know the AC seats yet. Um, but down here, these man, these cloth seats, they hold up well, they last a long time, and they're very comfortable. So, I don't know. Unless you're just absolute freak for leather, I think an XLT would do you just fine as well. But anyway, guys, if you have any other questions, let me know. Check out all the pictures that we have listed. Read the description, please. And of course, uh, if you've made it to this point, you've probably watched the video in its entirety. But make sure you watch the video in its entirety. Ask me any questions that you want. And if you're interested in buying it, I would act quick because I would expect something with less than 100,000 miles to sell uh, relatively quick. But anyway, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, God bless you, and I will talk to you soon.